Hello. Um, today we are going to do a very simple um, mail art, envelope art tutorial. I am not an artist by any means, so um, I just like to do very simple graphic things that make a big impact, and this is going to be one of them. So this is an example of what we're going to do today. It's just a bunch of circles with lines in it that make this very interesting um, pattern. You can see here's one example. Here's another colored. and so on. So um, my philosophy is bold colors, easy patterns. It makes it a really easy thing to do for those that are artistically challenged. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to stencil out some circles that I can use to actually guide my lines as I draw them. Now you can use a stencil if you have or a compass, but um, I just like to use whatever I have around. So this is just a washi tape and oh look, it's a perfect little circle. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this as my template for the circles. And what I'm going to do is just place one on, draw a circle, another circle. You want them slightly overlapping in some places and there's no pattern to it. It is just random. You're going to add them wherever you kind of think it makes sense. I'm trying to see my lines here. Unfortunately, gray on gray. A little difficult. And then another one up here. Another one over here. And I'm just kind of doing them in this kind of L shape along the, and this is the top of the envelope, and then I'm going to do a second little batch of just a couple, like four-ish, down here in the bottom right-hand corner, just as like kind of an extra little thing. And then I'm just going to place those to the side. Then I'm going to pick up whatever pen I'm going to use to actually make all the lines um, that are going to create the circles. Um, I'm using a Jelly Roll pen here because they uh, work really great on these dark envelopes to really pop. And also it's Halloween, so I'm doing a vaguely Halloween uh, color scheme here with the gray envelope and this orange pen. So now this is where the just kind of patience comes in. And if you have time or you're listening to a podcast or watching something on TV, this is a perfect thing to just do and zone out because it doesn't take any brain power. Um, so you can just do that while you are decorating some envelopes. And here we go. So again, unfortunately I chose gray on gray, so that's wonderful. So I'm just trying to find my circles here. And then I usually start in the center with the first line. And then I just parallel lines connecting the edges of the circle. I start on one side and I go to the other. Now, I am not perfectionist, so if it doesn't exactly match up or all the lines aren't perfectly parallel, that's what I'm going for. So don't stress about it being absolutely perfect. And then the only other thing I'm doing here is I'm rotating where they touch. I'm doing them kind of opposite direction lines. And don't be afraid to move your envelope to whatever direction helps you do this. And the more you get comfortable, the kind of easier it is to do a whole bunch of repetitive lines over and over again. So that one's right there, and then I'm going to do this The other good thing about these Jelly Roll pens is that they dry pretty quickly as you're working with them. Gosh, I can't see my circles at all. Which is good as you're going back and forth across the page. I hate smudging with my hands. I mean, it happens. It's fine.
And if you forget to flip it, and so you have a couple that are going the same direction that overlap, that totally is fine. This isn't about being perfect. This is just about a kind of fun way to do a pattern for your envelope. Again, it's not about perfection. It's just about having fun and making something that you like. Now, some people definitely like to put the stamps on first so that they know where the stamps are gonna go and they can create the pattern around it. You can definitely do that if you want. I don't really mind covering up some of my pattern with my stamps. So I like to just do the pattern first and then the stamps go where they go and if they cover up some of the pattern, oh well, works for me. But do it in whatever way you like. And then I do try to leave at least a decent amount of space for the address, but if you don't, you can always just put a label on and write the address again over the pattern. That totally works. This is just about something that you like that you wanna send. And there you have it. It's really that simple. You can definitely do a lot more little circles if you want, um, but I kind of like the way that this one ended up. And then all I'm gonna do um, once this dries is I'm gonna go ahead and just erase the pencil marks. You can't really see it on the gray, but I know that they're there, so I'll just erase them. And then you're all done. And there you have it. Let me know if there's any other quick and simple envelope art tutorials you'd like to see from me. Thank you.